Hi students, that's Mrs. Oldenkamp again. In the last video, you learned how to access your Gmail. And now I'm gonna show you how to send an email. If you need to send an email to another student or maybe to your teacher, you have to be in your email. And up here, there is a compose button. Now, if you're gonna compose something, that means you're gonna make it or you're gonna create it. If you were gonna compose music, you would be writing out the music and playing it. So to compose an email is to make an email. So go ahead and click on the compose button and that will pull up a new email. As you can see here, let me just scoot that over. This is like a new letter. That it's like a new piece of paper that you need to write on. But first you have to decide who are you sending this to. Right up here it says to, click in that box, and if you start typing someone's name, you're gonna get a drop down of anybody in the school district who has a similar name. So if you need to get a hold of me, you might start by typing my last name in. And as you can see, there are quite a few people who have similar last names. There's a Judah, there's a Gabriel, there's a William, and there's a David. Those are all my family members. But here am I, Cami Oldenkamp. So you would click on that and it will automatically put my email in there for you. Now, if you need to send it to more than one person, maybe you need to send it to another one of the fifth grade teachers as well, you could start typing her name. So how about Miss Smith? I could type in her last name, and there she is. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of Smiths, and she pops up first for Bean because I've emailed her more than any other. Now, you might have to scroll through to find the right person. Make sure you're emailing the correct person. If you know their first name, that helps too. So you could click on her name, and it will add her as well. The subject right here, this subject line, this is not where you type your email. This isn't where you tell them what you need to tell them. This just tells that person, what are they gonna find in this email? So if my email is going to be about, um, I lost my password and I don't know how to log in, my subject might just be lost password, or maybe just password. And then I would come down here and this whole section here is called the body. This is where you're gonna type your email. So just like writing a letter, you wanna start your email by addressing the people that you're talking to. So you might say, hello, Mrs. Oldenkamp and Miss Smith, comma, enter. That's how you start a letter. That's also how you start an email. Make sure you address the person that you're talking to. And then you might type, I lost my password. Can you help me? Question mark. Now, when this email comes into their inbox, just like I showed you in the last video, they're gonna be able to see that it's from you. But just like if you're writing a letter, you always want to sign it. So go ahead and hit enter again, and you might say thanks, and sign your name, okay? This is a nice, uh, mature way to write an email to someone, okay? So then, once you're finished and you have who you're sending it to, the subject, and then your email body is written, then you can hit the send button down here and the send button will send it off to those people. And that's the way you send an email.